We're right here south of uh, the sacred mountain to the north. Mount Hesperus is the, uh, the name that is given to it on the map, but uh, in the language of our people, it's called the Bensa. The Bensa is actually reference to the, uh, the bighorn sheep. And the traditional stories in that is that it is said that there were hundreds of uh, bighorn sheep that would uh, graze down here in these flat areas. This area that we're located in at the moment right here has a name, and that means the place where it is much structures of hills and mesas and they call it Dahotesja in the language of our people because of so many different uh, obstacles and our people used to occupy this area straight south of um, Mount Hesperus down towards what is now Mancus, Colorado and all the way down to the San Juan River and uh, so this was the area that our people would live in during the summertime. And during the wintertime, they would then come down, down off of the mesa and uh, farm the areas down along the San Juan River and the uh, other flowing rivers and that out of these mountains. And so it is that our people occupied. The uh, sacred mountains, as we have uh, shared with uh, people before, is that uh, we start with the direction east. And that one there is Mount Blanca. In the language of our people, we call it Sisnachin. And uh, it has, uh, the mountain looks like it has a black belt with all of the slopes and that, that are the ridges uh, that lead up to the, from the base of the mountain. And then we have to the south, we have uh, Mount Taylor over by Grants, New Mexico. So it's just, that's what they call that. And sometimes they translate it to say Tongue Mountain. But um, the way that I've heard it is the short just which means the place where it looked very smooth and soft. That mountain there is then what is known as Mount Taylor. And then we have the mountain to the west, which is the uh, San Francisco Peak over uh, north of present-day Flagstaff, Arizona. And uh, the Oak Sea is what we call that. And uh, the translation, in many cases, uh, even our people seem to get confused about it. The Oak is referring to a fire. Uh, from beneath, and then uh, because it is referring to the white top of the uh, the mountain where you get the glittering lights of all different kinds when you look at the snow very closely. Kosi is uh, what they call it, and then of course now the last mountain is the um, uh, Mount Hesperus, just uh, north of the uh, present day location of uh, Mesa Verde, where we are at right now, and. Uh, We'll be sharing information about some of these other mountains here, but this is called the uh, the Bensa, which means the big horn sheep. And uh, we are told that there were hundreds of those sheep here, uh, those sheep in this area, and all over what is now the uh, the land of the Dene, the Nebuchadnezzar. This area here was one of the very major locations of the original settlements that the Dene uh, lived in for many generations, and that's what we are told. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay. <laughs> Ahot 
ที่เด็กเนี่ยโอ้เขาอยู่คุยอยู่ที่เขตหัดตีนเดอารอดีคนเราเองนะฮะคนส่วนเราเองก็บัตรการเอกเอชเปย์ตัดจุดจี้สก